Hello, welcome back. I am going to crack on this time, straight into it, and I'm going to do another beer review. Uh, I've read up on this one a little bit, and I know that it is a beer that a lot of people hold in very high regard. The Bristol Beer Factory's Southville Hop. So it's um, it's a cracker by all accounts, and I'm, uh, I've never tried it, really looking forward to getting into it. I purchased it from Waitrose, I think it cost me something like 270 for half a litre of uh, or finest IPA, so I'm told. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm already excited about this one. Okay, this one is pouring out very cloudy. And there you are, look at that. What a lovely head too. Really nice, creamy, kind of soapy head. Lovely. Deep gold. Right, this is completely different from the last beer review I did, the Buckham uh, Brunel. Vibrant, this is fresh, this is fruity, this is grapefruit and pineapple. Pineapple over anything else in there. That is a beautiful smell, that's the kind of thing you want your air, car air freshener to be like. Wow! Bam! That is bitter. You get the fruit that I explained in the scent immediately. As soon as it's in your mouth, the fruitiness is there. And then, God, like a knife, the bitter. A really, really bitter, yeasty kind of, like, like lime. That's exactly what it is. So you get the fruit, you get the really nice tropical, pineapple-y, grapefruity taste. And then actually, that's what it is. You know when you drink grapefruit juice when you've had a hangover and immediately you get a really nice taste and then bam, you get that bitter of the grapefruit. That's exactly what it's like. Alcoholic, delicious, beery grapefruit juice. I could get quite excited about this beer. I don't think I could have too many of them. I definitely couldn't have too many of them because this one is a 6.5% ABV. Bristol Beer Factory are based in Bristol, obviously, no points for that one. Um, the only other beer that I've had from the Bristol Beer Factory, which I will definitely review again for you guys because I enjoyed it so much, was their Milk Stout. And uh, I mentioned the Milk Stout to my old man and he laughed his head off and said, I can't believe they're still making Milk Stout. So I'm gonna find out what the story is behind that, but I assume it was one of those cheaper old drinks. Excuse me, there we are. Better out than in. This is really, really nice. Cheers, absolutely delicious. Completely different, couldn't be further away from the um, from the Brunel IPA. I'm doing it again, aren't I? I'm not finishing my sentences before I, um, before I start drinking. Next week, I'm going to review something not an IPA, because some of you out there might not like IPAs. So I thought I might go with a stout or a porter. Oh, I tell you what I'm gonna do, yes. I'm gonna get a leaderboard. There will be a leaderboard here of beers that I've tasted and where I rank them. A kind of top gear, who's the fastest board. Um, let's pour the rest of it and see what it's like. Okay, let's save that last bit. I'll look up to the light. Yeah, as I said, you can't even see through that. There's a, there's a lot at the bottom of that, so a little note to the wise, I would leave that because that's very, very sedimenty and uh, all the bitterness that the yeast provides is going to be it's going to be there so thank you very much for watching again keep an eye out for many more cheers subscribe to the channel one like the video two leave a comment three if you could do those three things for me i'd be very very much obliged